What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cole Start here and welcome to Code Vein. Thanks to Bandai Namco for actually giving me a code to actually be a part in the network test beta, which honestly I just can't wait to actually jump into this game. Ever since they announced it, I just just wanted to play this damn game and honestly I finally got it now and I'm not going to wait any longer so without further ado, let's jump right into a new game and get this started. Because I just can't wait. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey. Can, you can you hear me? Hear me? Think, Think back. back. Search, Search your memory, memory for an image of yourself. of yourself. Remember name or repair, remember appearance first. Hmm. I'm going to remember name first. Enter my name. Coral Vane. And code name. It'll be the same thing. Wonder if I could just type this in. Yeah, I figured as much. Can I, oh, not that. <laughs> Can I just have a underscore? Okay, good. Um, I'm be female. And this is the part I've been wanting to actually try out, which is going to be fucking awesome. Basic appearance. Hmm. What do I want to base this off? Hmm. Just the details and the customizations is fucking wild. Hmm. Interesting characters. That's a hell of an interesting character. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, holy crap! So customization, so much customizations in this game. God damn. Um, I think I would go with. Uh, I'll go with this appearance setting, and then I'll mess with the uh, overall balance. See how strong she's gonna be. All right, I don't want to make her too dang bulky. Skin. Uh. Let me see here. Hmm. I think she actually looks at you as. Yeah, she's actually looking at you as you turn. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I'll go with this. Hair. Hairstyles. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of hairstyles. Because I want to actually make a decent... This is the kind of game I actually want to make. How my character, Coral of Stride, actually looks like. Or Coral Vane as she is now. So far, it's looking pretty good. like that one. Swear, every time I see this haircut, I'm just reminded of fucking Black Clover. <laughs> the guy with the flame bat, I can't remember his name, but God, it's so much like that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This hairstyle doesn't look too bad. Hmm. I will be checking all these hairstyles as I am taking my time with this game because. I mean, it's the beta. I mean, we can only do so much anyway, so I'm going to get the most out of what I can in this gameplay. Looking at every single thing. Spiky here. Um, okay, so that's what they have. I think I'm leaning towards... It looks pretty good. It ain't too bad. You'll like it that way. I'll go with that. Base color. Hmm. 
Okay, that's the base color color. Okay. Now we go for the highlights from say the highlights. This oh this is the second part of the hair. Straight black hair. Might actually give a little white in there. Hold on. Oh, okay. I get what it's doing. Oh, that's how you do the highlights. Okay. Gotcha. I think I might give... I go that. Yeah, that works actually pretty nicely. Um, what is this? Uh, it's probably gonna make them stick out a lot more. Like, well, I do like that <laughs> face. Definitely came with like it changed the eyes a little bit. keep the face, but I'm definitely going to be changing the eye colors and everything. So you can change the pupils. This looks awesome. <laughs> you have different designs and everything in this game. You have cat's eyes. That is definitely interesting. I'll be definitely going with uh, this. <laughs> and you can black out your eyes, which I love that part. That's probably my favorite part right there. <laughs> uh, grays, I want yellow. I get a yellow going. Where's the yellow? Where's the yellow? A good one. One like that almost. Uh, you want a yellow too. Is it for the designs on the outside? Oh, that looks cool. I like that. I think it's like a reflection, okay. Mm, actually, let me put that high up on the thing here. Let's see what it looks like. It's like a little tinge. Almost oh, like a reflection. Huh, okay. I guess I might want to do something like... can't really see these designs that much <laughs> besides those. I might go with a little like something like that. I'll go with that actually. That works out. Gives a little life to her eyes. Pupil. Oh, okay. Um Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had to fix that. Because you could change both eyes and everything, which is pretty cool. I'll keep the eyes like that. Cat eyes. Okay, vertical position. And you could just do everything. Cross side, no. Edge thickness. This looks pretty cool. Like that, like that. Can I? I 
to change expression and stuff. <laughs> Okay, that works. Uh, face. Let's see. I gotta like move them in a little bit, but that works okay. Eyebrows. Check these out. I might gonna have to adjust my hair real quick. Uh, there. Oh, something like that will work. Let me work on the eyebrows real quick. Let's see what I'm working on here. Hmm. A lot of short eyebrows. Not too bad. Uh, I'm just skimming through these real quick. I think I'm just gonna go with the ones that were on top because they were not wasn't too bad. Where were they? <laughs> just gotta find them now. Eyebrows. They were all the way at the top. Yeah, right here. Just gotta find those ones I've seen. I saw them somewhere. Where are they? Uh, shoot. Hmm. I'll go with something like that. Color. Black, of course. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. So you know what? So I don't think I can actually like um, with this game like move them uh, like move the middle down, move the edge down. So I gotta find some kind of kind of eyebrows here. <laughs> this is taking a little bit, but like I said, this game is gonna be uh, interesting series. So Those will actually work. Alright, get the f um, hair back. Where was it? Uh, do, do, do. That works. Let me just see something with the face real quick. I go with that eyes so. though. Actually changing it up. Makeup eyelashes. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Definitely going full on death when it comes to the eyes, that's for sure. But I'll actually just keep the way the eyebrows are, they're not too bad. Um. Make this black too. Oh. 
That's the lips, okay. Explain to me. Uh, trying to find the right tone there. Is, but okay. <laughs> um, scars. Don't really want scars, anyways. Face paints. Mm. Accessories. Holy crap. Back it up. <laughs> Cowboy hats. Holy crud. <laughs> Headphones. Crowns. Cat ears. <laughs> I can make your neck go if you want to. <laughs> Got glasses, eye patches, which I could probably see a lot of people using the eye patches. <laughs> or the roses. Necklace. I like that necklace actually. Well, these are extra hair. <laughs> Holy crap. Like I said, this, this game does dab a lot, <laughs> that's for sure. Extensions and everything. Holy crud. Backpacks. I don't think I'll really go that far when it comes to all this. Huh. I'll definitely, let me see. This is my... Accessories. Um, hmm. Gauntlets out. I don't think I really want anything on her right there. Neck collar. I gotta figure out how to remove the thing that's on there. Put little floating wings, cotton ball. Jeez, you could do so much in this damn game. Did it put that necklace on? There you go. Accessories. I can keep it like that. That should be good. Clothing. Here's what it, um, clothing comes in the picture. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what outfits we get. Pretty much my style right here. Okay, and it changed that to completely black. That's black too. Everything is black for the most part. I'll probably have some different colors. It's got buddies are gauntlets. Uh, probably gonna have that black, but I'm not gonna really wear any gloves if I can take them off. I have this silver. That works pretty good. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this uh, thing, but uh, apologize. <laughs> but yeah. I 
think that'd be good for that. Purifier mask. Hmm. I'll probably go with this one. Pure uh, mask frame. Go with that. I should do it. I don't stand a chance here. Good to see you again. I'll pay you back somehow. I'm getting a bit thirsty. This is the best. I'm feeling a bit tired. I'll find a way to repay you. Running away? I don't know the way. Best of luck. Type 3 is sounding pretty good. Really? That was my bad. Victory is our only option. <laughs> Results are all that matter. <laughs> Not you look strong. Yeah. Hi. Please be kind. Hi. Come on. Ooh. See you. Hi. I owe you for this. That way. I should have been more careful. It is time to part ways. Let me lead the way. This is too much. I can't go on. Oh, it's you again. Give me strength to... What else did you expect? Show me what you can do. May fortune favor us. It's just you and me now. Ah! Yeah, type 3 would be good. Do you need a break? <sighs> I'll lead you. <laughs> Are you feeling thirsty? Okay, that's good. Uh, save. Okay, save that appearance. And we are done. Uh, confirm. Yeah, yeah. that's what you look like. Now, we can finally meet. Took a little longer, but like I said, you guys go and skip that part and get to the gameplay if you want to. Move around. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Check your blood code. Revenants process special powers known as blood codes depending on the specific blood code. A revenant's stats will differ. To view these stats, select uh, the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. Okay, I got that. That's a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. To really boost attack power. Very well. Give it a try. of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Ikor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well.
well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Ranger. Code owner unknown. This code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. You acquire a new blood code. Open menu. You no longer meet the stat requirements effectively. That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Okay. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. sums up the ranger blood code and drainer. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Caster. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Mm-hmm. Now, you learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Roar. You discover a gift's latent potential. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? It's a powerful gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. And that concludes now, the tutorial. Awaken and save the world.
Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. It's dry, isn't it? We can go slowly. I am here with you. Just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. It seems everyone... Everywhere is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. On 
your feet. We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. You're awake then? Whoa, keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. All right. So, what happened to your masks? What masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. All right. Number three and four. New mask. New company too. Time to work. Check your gear and come up. All right, let's talk to these people first. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits them. So, so, what do you want to know? What is this place? According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. What's a revenant? A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood or you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. What have I forgotten? Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten it. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. What are the lost? The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. The air in this place has something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. Um, where are the blood beats? If we revenants don't drink human blood, we join the lost. But humans are scarce after the great collapse and all. The folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along. They started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. Uh, that's about it. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up, and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. She's just sleeping. Alright, let's get up there.
This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, this this guy and a douche, like the rest of them. Resting in a missile. Rest near a missile, your HP and regeneration uses are restored along with your ecor. We're gonna find a blood bead bonanza. I'm gonna level up, inherit, acquire gifts, teleports. Level one. <laughs> Sure, I can wait. Yeah, it looks pretty damn good. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. So I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. Quiet. That's how you do it. <laughs> that was a hell of an attack. Definitely needing a better weapon, that's for sure. <laughs> Great work. Will that come in handy? Uh, lost shard. We'll have to see if it does. A secret center. Nope. Always gotta look behind everything. Uh, using and upgrading regeneration. HP can well be recovered through the regener use of regeneration. Uh, okay. Ecor concentrate. Um, regeneration. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Close. Please don't fall. Yeah. 
kind of missed him on that one. <laughs> I just had to get used to it. It's a little bit different compared to uh, other games. In there? Heavy axe. Heavy axe, spit that on. Where are you? Heavy axe. Come in and yeah. Which way right do you the restrictions. We're gonna be checking out a lot of this game, so. <laughs> Queen's Iron. Can't really go this way anyway, so. <laughs> Back the way we came. Walk carefully. Yep, yep, yep. Stack them here. I wonder who. Somebody is behind me. Please don't fall. I definitely need to get a <laughs> one-handed weapon. Got lost broadsword. I uh, definitely want that. That's a broad sword. Yeah, it's a one-handed weapon. Definitely take that. It's pretty actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wonder how much uh let's see, focus state. Your focus gauge fills as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it's full, stamina will be replenished and you will enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can more easily stagger enemies. Uh -huh. so to launch an attack. Hmm. Let's see if I can get behind this guy. Saved me again. Is there something good in there? Lost bayonet. I don't think this one's any better than. Uh, I got pretty much two of the same weapon. There's somebody around me. There's a staircase over there. Hmm. Take a little damage. Oh shit. Damn slimes. Lost up above. Yeah. 
Which way Mapping. do you think is better? Check What's down that? here real quick. See if there's anything in good there? in here. Will that come in <laughs> handy? Queen Slayer's Thorn. Uh huh. Got a new outfit at least. <laughs> Decked out. Got a rest of the missile here. Level up. Only level up once. Well, should we set out? Well, guys, I'm probably gonna end it here for at least this first part. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. Like I said, I always appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.